We're speaking with James Wilstop, the 20-year-old wonder of the squash scene, setting the world alight here at uh, Grand Central Station in New York. Uh, James, um, you must feel quite happy with your performance so far here. Yeah, I mean, I've had a you know great, you know, good tournament on you know on, on you know what I would have expected to do. Uh, come here and beating Dave Palmer, which is a, a massive result for me. And then uh, you know tonight I've just lost out to John White, and I mean. You know, I mean, I, pl I played really well, and he, he was on good form tonight, and uh, just too good in the end. But I put up another good show against him, and uh, you know, hopefully, I can I can get get in a few, another few more wins against him in the future. I must say, your performance was audacious. Most people, when they go against John White, they try to contain his shots. You went out hitting your own winners. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how I believe I, I want to play. That's how I always play, and uh, I'm an attacking player. And I love, the, love to take the game to people and um, just because it's John White doesn't mean it's going to be any different and uh, you know I've, I've, done, I've been attacking and I've taken the game to players recently and I've beaten them and uh, I, was, you know, I was definitely going to do the same. Uh, he moved you around a lot in the uh, third and fourth, were you getting tired? Um, I wasn't sort of physically um, sort of tired where I couldn't breathe or the legs were going. It, uh, it was a sort of, um, I was maybe a little bit heavy from the match the other day. It took quite a bit out of me. It was, it was 80, 80 odd minutes. Uh, it, was, it was a long match, you know, and even though I had a day off, you know, which was great and helpful, um, I was maybe slightly jaded, but in the end, you know, I was moving pretty well and, uh, you know, John, it, he, he did move me around well and, and in the end I just couldn't, I couldn't, you know, he was getting the starts in every game and I couldn't keep up to that, so. A couple of years you were in junior squash, you're in fact still the junior world champion. What has been the major difference between junior squash and suddenly you're among the big boys? Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite strange and I've, I mean I suppose I've been pretty quick in, in getting up there with, with, with the seniors uh, so far. So uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's just a different pace, a different, with them, it, you know, the ball just flies so much more. It's you're always looking at the rallies are so much longer physically it's such a demanding game now in the men's game there aren't any easy games every every match you play is just going to be dead hard end of story you know so i must say for a junior if you'll pardon the expression you've done pretty well um you've beaten almost everybody except peter nickel haven't you i mean i've beaten i think four recent i've had four great results recently with uh you know beating Power and White in Q8 and then uh, Shabana and, um, and Palmer here. I've got a few more to go. Um, Pete's one of them and uh, Lee Beachel, Anthony Ricketts and Linku, I haven't beaten those. So, uh, you know, still still people to beat well, out there. You know, you're still young. You've right, you got a few years, yeah, haven't I mean, you? Yeah, got a few, a few uh, years ago. I, I want to say, it's, um, you really set the, the people on fire here. You've probably heard their reaction to you. Um, you've been in two of the best matches here and all I can say, it's not long before you'll be world champion. Cheers, Martin. Thanks a lot. I hope Thank so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great squash. Nice one. That's James Wilstrop, future world champion.